Shortly after landing on the Martian surface last month, NASA's Phoenix Mars lander began recording images of the red planet. NASA scientists are in the process of piecing together a full panoramic view of the landing site. The main goal of the mission is to dig into Mars soil in search of ice. Scientists say finding it would indicate the planet once supported life. The probe's robotic arm, which works like a backhoe, got right to work. We've been doing for the last, Phoenix uh, week project so, scientist and, uh, Peter Smith. Digging in soil has been, of course, one of our key activities because we're trying to find an ice layer, which we're told exists. Uh, we see a hard surface underneath the lander, and now as we dig into the soil, um, we see a, a hard, bright surface right uh, within uh, just a few inches of the upper layer. And we've had a, a fairly intense debate among the team whether that's ice or salt, but everybody believes there's ice near the surface. Whether that's it or not is the, the question. Answers may come when samples are analyzed, but so far none of the white material has been scooped up and placed into the spacecraft's analyzer. It has delivered other soil samples, and about 1,000 particles have been seen and are being studied with the optical microscope on Phoenix. NASA's Mark Lemon manages the craft's stereo imager. It's the camera that can sit back, uh, look at everything in color. It has human-like depth perception. U.S. media reports say the computer glitch this week resulted in the loss of a day's worth of photos of Martian soil and landscape, though NASA does not consider the loss to be critical. Scientists say they will have a full panorama of the landing area in a week or two. While everything is a red hue on the vast Martian surface, members of the science team say they are most intrigued by what is being revealed when the surface is scratched. Paul Sisko, VOA News.